Good morning, everybody. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Still, <laughs> it's the day after Christmas, and I'm over it. I'm done. I'm ready to move on. Posted on my Facebook page. Mic drop. Christmas is gone. Took down the tree. Over it. But I still have the tree up in my craft room because we have to take that down. So, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, was it Christmas Day? No, day before Christmas. I dyed a bunch of paper. Let me show you. Which reminds me, I wanted to specifically give a big shout out to any and all of the USPS workers, not just the drivers, the people inside, all of those people. My gosh, USPS, US, UPS, I mean, and FedEx. People driving, the people sorting. I couldn't have pulled off Christmas without all that help, honestly. I mean, thank you very much. It was greatly appreciated, all the work that everybody did, so that my husband and I could enjoy a little gift exchange, and it's great. And Amazon, too. I mean, Amazon and all of the other places online, they, they really make it smooth. I had to return some stuff this morning, and... It was just a matter of printing off a return envelope and putting it in the mail. I mean, you just can't get easier than that. reason why this reminded me is because I didn't have any paper. So I called over to Office Max and here in town, Office Depot, and the gal that answered the phone was kind enough to be my little elf, and she went and got me several kinds of paper, and all my husband had to do was just drive by and pick it up. It was slick so slick um let's see thinking of housekeeping stuff i don't think there was anything else i do have some because of christmas my husband got me some toys and so i'll be doing product reviews in a little while but not today maybe later today today's this is about paper because i'm putting my signature together for my journal I'll show you the cover and my ideas later. It's coming along nicely. Okay, I don't know about you, but I've lived on a farm and out in the country long enough that little bits of lavender remind me of mice poop. I don't know why. Am I the only one? <laughs> it does, but it smells awesome. So what I did was I used my acid dyes, Jacquard acid dyes, uh, and dyed to just some, I think it's 60 weight copy paper. No, 20. 28, I think. Oh, shoot. I don't know. I'll have to go look if you're interested. And in between, I layered, where is it at? I layered some dried flowers that I had from before we moved. lavender and marigold and lemon balm okay so i'm trying to keep all this paper straight so there's little bits of lavender here and there and then i also tea dyed them i've never tea dyed before and I also chamomile dyed paper. Mm, it smells wonderful. I just used chamomile tea. So here's a page. Rather than going through all of these, here is a page of regular copy paper with a little bit of jacquard dye, some marigold leaves. Uh, and lavender buds 
And my idea today is I'm going to take a few of these. I was going to try to do a flip through, but this stack's just too big. So I'm going to do a couple. This is chamomile dyed paper with marigold flowers. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do, which could be a complete disaster, is I have some tissues that I'm thinking I'm going to put over these and Mod Podge them. What do you say? Now I know I could paint them first, but because I like living on the edge, I'm not going to. I have I tried to get everything ready, so now I have this huge mess beside me. I normally have a little piece of wax paper over that, and I don't know what happened to it. Uh, what? What did I do? What did I do as my favorite? Oh, I gotta grab my brush. I put it away. The snow within the last five minutes is just started. If I could turn the camera around, I would show you. It's big, wet, heavy flakes. Finally, we've had storm after storm, but it's all wind really anticlimactic. So I'm going to tear this up. Shoot, I don't have anywhere to put stuff. And I'm just going to, this could be a wreck. I'll probably still show the video. I mean, it's all about learning and I've never done this before. I've seen it done a few times, a few different ways. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not doing it like they do. Or like the people that I've seen. I don't know why. The way they did it was fine. Okay. I'm going to assume that this napkin, hmm, I might be wrong, but I was thinking that it was porous enough that the glue would go right through. Nope. Maybe not. I wonder if I have to spray it first with some water. So it's a day after Christmas. Yep, it's not going to go through. At least not enough. Okay. Fine. Ooh, if I'm going to do that. You know what, I think I'm going to do it the way I saw Martha do it. If I have to change course, I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take the paper. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, well. Paint it. I don't like that noise on the wax paper. Sorry, guys. I didn't know what else to put down. I have my Tim Holtz glass mat holding nothing. I don't know why I moved stuff around. I know there's a couple crafters that always craft on the wax paper and I, I can't listen to it. It drives me crazy. So I'm, I apologize if this is driving you nuts. Still got my Christmas jammies going on. We had a great day yesterday. It was really mellow. Chatted with the kids and my daughter was skiing with no people and She said they had the whole ski area really set up. She went night skiing too, which was the most unpopular. Sounds really cold to me. But 
she likes it. And um, my son had a quiet day with his dogs. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call that good. Now, where's my other, my little piece I started? Okay, now. This is going to go in my boho journal, so if it's lumpy and bumpy, I'm fine with that because my journal, I hope my journal, I don't know. My in my brain, I kind of have it like you found it in a box somewhere. That's kind of the vision I have. Some I don't know. I want it to be old, but I want it to be sparkly. husband is downloading music for me. He got me a speaker for my craft room, among other things. And I, um, I can't wait to get it, get all my music loaded. <clears throat> okay, I believe that. I won't know what this is going to be like till after it dries and I try to bend it. <laughs> I did put a little bit of essential oil in my tea. Uh, or no, I put it, well, kind of in the tea, I guess you'd say. I poured some of the tea in my spray bottle and then I put the couple drops of uh, lavender oil in my spray bottle. When I was, I did bake these in the oven, and when I was baking them, I could smell the oil, so. And I know some people have aversions to different scents. Uh, I'm one of them, actually. I'm pretty sensitive. I'm super sensitive to cats. Sometimes I'll buy something, and I just can't use it, because even though it isn't loaded with cat hair or anything, I, I can smell it. I just can't. It gives me a migraine immediately, which is a bummer. One of the reasons why we don't have a cat. One of the many reasons. I'm a dog person. I mean, I like cats and all, but. the same response to rabbits when we tried to raise rabbits. I, uh, I'm a hand spinner and I wanted some Angora fiber. So we raised rabbits for a couple years and I just can't be around them. I would bring them in the house and it wasn't a good thing. <clears throat> I don't know how much paper I'm going to put on here. Honestly, I couldn't wait to get down here and, and and turn the camera on and play. I couldn't wait. I'm like, I know we were going to have ham and cheese omelets for breakfast, but if you're not really hungry, I'm going to go video. <laughs> He's like, okay, go ahead. I don't care. 
Oh, you guys, wait till you see the fiber, or the fiber, the uh, fabric that I've gathered together to choose from for my video, or for my, oh, I can't, apparently I can't paint and talk at the same time for my book. These are the backs to some napkins that I used on covers or whatever. These are the backs. And now I'm wishing I would have saved more. I've thrown some away. I'd still like to do it the other way, but... We'll do it this way. You could mix the flowers with the Mod Podge, or with, or you could make your own Mod Podge. I know Martha Manigros does not like Mod Podge. I think she uses mm, tacky glue. I think. Can't remember. Now, there's a couple other people that I know that don't really care for Mod Podge. Yeah, I want my boho book to be kind of earthy, well, very earthy, and bulky, and busy. Really free spiritish. Interesting, fun, a little sexy, you know, cultural, that's the word. If you guys haven't done this, it's pretty fun. And, you know, I would imagine you could do this with about anything, you know, if you have glitter or um, sequins. I don't know why you couldn't put them down. I'm just going to Mod Podge over that. These napkins are so thin that... You can just push them down and they become one with the paper. I think I found a lovely combination for essential oils in my mister that I turn on when I'm crafting. I put chamomile, Roman chamomile. I wished I had wild, but I don't have Roman. And lavender and vetiver. And it is so calming. It's very light and I really like it. So this paper is going to go in my boho journal that we are doing Martha Managross's Shabby Craft Studio and I and several others are all doing a um, journal.
jour the Journal to Inspire project. So come join. We are um, trying to get the covers done. The idea is just to work on our own personal journals. In a really fun, low-key kind of way. We have a Facebook page that I will post below. You can join anytime. The Facebook page is a closed group just for people doing the Journal to Inspire project. Martha and I will do a video each week. The first one's starting on January 3rd, 2021. And um, we'll do a, a uh, video on our channel each week with a prompt. And so you can use the prompt or not to try new things, kind of expand your skills, have an idea so you don't get stumped. If you are getting stumped, you can go to the prompts. For ideas. It's all about making your own journal and bringing in 2021 with a positive new attitude, right? Oh, less stress, more support. Even though the Facebook groups, I mean, I don't, I'm not a member of any of them that aren't really supportive and fun. But we really want people from everywhere, all around the world, to come and participate in the, in, uh, the Journal to Inspire project. Okay, I'm missing a spot. I don't know if I have a white paper. this is going to work. It really looks more like paper than, I mean, it looks like, uh, it says it's tissue, but I don't know. Hold on, I've got to get it away from my project here. Any more spots? Okay. Yeah, now what? Hmm. I need to go make a space. I didn't think that totally through. Hold on a second. I'm going to make a space behind me to put these papers so you can dry. So we can keep moving. And she carry them over there. Okay, I'm just gonna go set these behind me on this. Actually, in the room, but over here behind me.
Okay. I'd like to do a couple more. I really like it when it's like this. I don't see any way I can... I don't think I can Mod Podge over them. Nope. Not gonna happen. Okay. Bummer. So if you're thinking about doing the Journal to Inspire project, I will put the Facebook page below and you can go over there and get to know people and remember you can Join the project anytime. Doesn't matter. The project, the whole idea of the project is to include, not exclude, so. You can join it anytime. And you don't have to join the Facebook page either. My email um, I was thinking actually I have a couple different emails but I think I'm going to use uh, littlecarol65 at gmail.com and so if you want to do the project email me um, as you're going along so I can see I can post them on fa your pictures on Facebook if you want me to, you know, if you don't have a Facebook account, or not, if you'd prefer not, but I'd love to see the project. Robin, I know you don't do Facebook, so just email me, kiddo. Just email me your cover, and we can communicate that way, no problem. Okay. This is different paper. It's it has kind of a shiny finish to it. my napkin hold on So we're supposed to get real snow today, and I I hope so. When when there's a deep snow on the ground, it just seems like the world goes to sleep to me. Everybody kind of slows a roll a little bit.
This is fun, guys. You know, you could make all okay, You could do this in so many different ways. You could grind up paper or uh, pepper or other herbs and encase them in paper. I think that would be really unique and fun. Cool. I like it. Not the original way I was going to do it, but I really thought if I left this stuck down, I could Mod Podge over it. But not to be done. Okay. You know that little book I was doing for that little girl? It hasn't gotten to her yet. It really upsets me. I know they're so overworked and everything. I'm hoping I put the right address and everything on it. Maybe she'll get it today. seen any deer or we saw some uh, footprints behind the house but normally we can stand at the window and watch them but we haven't seen any they must be higher up or I don't know maybe somebody's put hay out for them or something they found better accommodations. <laughs> Could be true. This is easy peasy, guys, if you're looking for something fun and easy to do. You don't have to have Mod Podge. You can just do it with any glue, any white glue, and water. You could go outside and get maple leaves, or if they're dry, you wouldn't want to put anything that's not dry but if you bake it got it really dry and then put it in here and you'd have really cool fall fall paper okay let's cover that boo-boo I'm not going to put a lot of this paper in my journal because you, I don't think you're going to be able to write on it. But I can put a pocket with a good journaling card in there for me. Probably won't stay. Can try right I used to have buckets and buckets of miracles because I made soap and lotions and body products with them
Well, I got a few of them glued down. Okay, I think that might cure me, maybe. No, I got a couple more here I want to do. So when you guys do digis, what do you print off on? Oh shoot, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Do you just print off your digis on 20 pound copy paper? I'm gonna go lay this down behind me, hold on. Don't go anywhere. I'm looking at digis for this journal. Um, gosh, there's a, there's a lot of really beautiful stuff out there. This looks like it's lifted for some reason. guys I think I might do the rest of this off camera let me just clean up a little bit and I can show you the fabric that I'm going to try to incorporate in my in my book at least in the cover I can get rid of this noise my finger sorry all right so here's my cover I found this I thought would be great I didn't deliberately I just put it down the center oh I better put a lid on this don't get so excited I will have to clean that up and put some wax paper on it or I'll never get it back open again but for right now it'll be fine Okay, how much time are we at? Oh, 36, we're good. Okay, so I got what I wanted. I got a pocket here, a pocket on here. Oh, don't you tell me it's glued in. I mod podged the whole outside. And it did get rid of the glitter problem. So my pocket goes all the way to here. And then these two. I tried to use my big hole punch, and I was so mad. It tore the pocket trying to get it out. Oh, that thing. Does anybody else make a two inch or two and a half inch hole punch? Because I'm ready to throw that one out. Um, so, I love this so far. I distressed around the edges. They'll probably be covered up, but I thought, well, if I do it along, as I go along, I found this in my stash, and look what else I found. Sorry guys, i got to get something to wipe the glue off my fingers. I did a, a little exchange with one of the gals from the Facebook group. And she generously sent me some pieces of this beautiful silk um, from some clothes she found at a thrift store, I think. And so I got to get a little bit of glue off. I can handle some, but okay, I might be all right. So I'm looking at these colors, and my gosh, I mean, they're so happy. I love, love this. I want to try to incorporate this somehow, maybe on the outside spine. 
and I'm thinking that I'll do the spine and then cover it in the, on the back. I love that. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use it, but I sure would like to. Probably not this. I like this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use that or not, but I'd like to. I'd like to be able to use that somehow. And um, look at this. I mean, oh my God, I, I have to use this. In fact, when I was looking, I don't think I'll be able to use this. Not in this journal, unless I just use a little bit of trim. So, as I was going through these, I actually was able to put this on here and look. I would probably leave... Um, I was thinking I'd put that at the bottom. Yeah, I like it better at the... Well, I don't know, but look at that. And then I could... There's so much you can do. I mean, it's just, ah, uh, love it. I just love it. I just, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to start. But I'd hate to cover this up. But it's beautiful, and it feels good. It doesn't catch or anything. It's uh, pretty smooth. I thought if I did something like that, I could cut like that circle out and leave the pink underneath. Or even a, you know, like a corner tuck something. I don't know. I don't know. I got to fiddle with this and If I had my signature in, see I could I could do something like that and then maybe use these for pockets or maybe use that for a clo under a clo over a closure. Oh, I feel just so excited to get this done. Um, so that's where I'm at. I don't have my signatures in, but I did get my paper dyed and baked. A lot of it, I'll show you, a lot of it is like this. And I did layer some plastic doilies in the middle, but they didn't take it. It was probably because I kept moving things around. Because I was trying to get ready for Christmas, and so my paper kind of got in the way. I did some parchment paper. I'm trying to find it, actually. There's some. No. Anyway, I did some different weights. I did notebook paper. I did regular copy paper, which is what this is. So I will probably do another video and put my signature together. I think I'm going to put my signature together before I finish my spine or my book. Because I that's what I'm thinking. I want to hide the my original goal, that's why I didn't care about the stitching. I wanted to, I want something over it. So, I'll probably do the signature. So, maybe that'll be my next video. Okay, everybody. I appreciate you coming by and watching. Watching me glue lavender and marigold. <laughs> I hope you're having a laid back, relaxed after Christmas. I hope you're staying safe. You don't have family. I know all of us have people that we're concerned about. I know I do. And uh, COVID is going to be manageable very soon. So we just have to hang in there a little while longer. Get the vaccine out and a lot of people are already inoculated because they've had it and then our health care workers are going to get a break that's my hope i hope 
I hope. I know a lot more people are being more responsible and wearing a mask, even if they really don't know if it works or not, you know. They, they've heard and have friends and neighbors and, and people that they care about who, are, who have gotten sick. And I know there's a lot of people who are being very responsible and staying home and, and it gets lonesome. But we only have to hang in there for a little while longer. We're getting it, just a little while longer. Okay, let's all take care of each other. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.